Winston Churchill CEO is a bibliography, a leadership textbook, and a collection of random quotes by Churchill. Though the 25 lessons learned have catchy attention-grabbing titles, many of his examples are either a stretch to relate, utilized in the wrong chapter, or simply repetitive. Many of these lessons are common sense I think anyone could draw from without the need of Axelrod illustrating the obvious. The author also makes many statements in absolutes that I would expect to find only in an autobiography. His presumptions of what Winston Churchill must have thought or values Churchill gained seem more like personal opinions than based on research and fact. The author also injects random leadership boxes in each chapter, but they are devoid of leadership theory and most are again obvious. The best writing in the entire book is the quotes from Churchill himself, and since Churchill was a very proficient writer and penned many of his own encounters, I would highly recommend reading the first-hand experiences of Churchill rather than the second-hand sediments of Axelrod. Brian Williams' thoughts on Alan Axelrod's Winston Churchill CEO book. I enjoyed the book for what it was, an examination of a bold and ambitious leader. It did a very good job of detailing Churchill's leadership style and what drove his decision making. The single largest takeaway from the reading was perseverance and turning losses into wins. Unfortunately, the same things that made it an enjoyable read became shortcomings for a management improvement book. It was more biography than insight. The book took a rather deep dive into the telling of Winston Churchill's life. This often became a distraction from the true purpose of the book as I had to dig for nuggets of leadership. Hello, I'm Sterling Napier, and my thoughts on Alan Axelrod's book, Winston Churchill, CEO, Lessons for Bold Business Leaders, and are the following. I feel that this book gave pretty good business and leadership attributes and strategies that people can use both in the military and in business. However, I do think that the author, Alan Axelrod, did put his own definites into the books that Winston Churchill did not feel. I feel that he added Winston Churchill at times to make his own point of view seem more emphasized. I feel that Winston Churchill had the best tidbits and small quotes of information that I ended up highlighting. However, I also did end up disregarding some of the things and I found this book to be a decent mixture between a history book of Winston Churchill and his and his battles and fights that he did from Africa and journalism through uh, being the representative and the ammunitions and everything like that, but I also found myself questioning why certain things were being shared, and I think that Alan Axelrod was padding some of his time, and that's okay. Overall, I'd recommend it.